Founded in 2014, Malta's individual investor program was the first to be recognised by the EU, creating a convenient and efficient route to European citizenship for international investors. Since 2018, the programme has been administered by the Malta Individual Investor Programme Agency. Its CEO, Jonathan Cardona, joins me now. Tell me more about Malta's Individual Investor Programme. What does it offer to investors and to Malta? So Malta is a small island with limited resources. And the idea of the government was to attract as much as possible new talent, entrepreneurs, who can bring new investment and foreign direct investment on the island. The main trust of what Malta can offer, it's a European jurisdiction ultimately. It's a very safe, stable, growing economy and it can be easily considered as a second home for many people who are seeking to have a second base for their family. To Malta it has offered a number of benefits. The program is based on a contribution, so there's direct cash input into our economy. Apart from that, there's economic activity generated by the individuals who come because they need to purchase property, they need local services, health care, education. Over and above that, a number of these individuals over time have invested on the island and I think that's the best part of the whole program, seeing real investment which before was not there. Citizenship by investment has become very competitive in recent years. How has Malta's programme evolved? Our work is two-pronged. First, we have to promote the programme, so we need to ensure that it is on the map of the people who are seeking a certain citizenship out there. But by far the bulk is risk assessment and due diligence. We need to ensure that we take the right approach, make the proper analysis of the individuals who are coming over and take a decision on that. Due diligence has become, I think, the most crucial part of our programme. We have implemented a four-tier system. The first step is that we go through the police authorities, which in turn they go through their international counterparts part to ensure that the persons are what they are and that there are no international issues with them. Secondly, we check the application for correctness and completeness, so there are internal checks to ensure that all the documents tally, the stories actually build up. Then the third one is we have a number of service providers which help us bring information from property databases, from intelligence on the ground. And the fourth tier is when we collect all that information with in-house intelligence, we build the picture of the family which has applied and on that we built a discussion. After four years we've built a lot of experience, we have modified and fine-tuned and implemented new procedures to ensure the right checks and balances within our system. It's not a foolproof system because risk analysis is a mix between art and science. At the end we have quite a bit of rejections as well, so we do reject between 20 to 25 percent of the people who apply, but I think that is the strength of our, of our program. And what does the future hold for the citizenship by investment industry and for Malta's program in particular? I think the most important thing and something that Malta has been really advocating for is more collaboration between the different jurisdictions that have these programs. All of us do due diligence, all of us have checks, all of us identify the rotten apple. And I think what is important for the sustainability and strength of these programs is that they share this information in a secure, in a legal way, but I think that's important. Having said that, I think that the market is growing. Globally, more people are becoming rich, more people need mobility, and it's becoming more mainstream ultimately. So the, the numbers are growing, both from the supply side and from the demand side. It's just ensuring that good governance is there, something that Malta continues to promote, um, and that the right regulations, the right approach should be established. Jonathan, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Learn more at iip.gov.mt. Click for more videos about business travel and please subscribe for the latest business, finance and strategic insights from EuropeanCEO.com.